Okay, good morning, TK. So today we're going to um, read a story about something called Pentecost, which was the special day that was yesterday. If anyone watched church on YouTube yesterday, they talked about Pentecost. But before we read that story, we're going to review when Jesus was taken up to heaven. So after Jesus died on the cross, remember, he showed himself to his disciples, right? And then he was with them for 40 days, and then he went up to heaven on the cloud. That was called the ascension. And remember, we used the cotton balls, and we drew the disciples underneath. So we're going to read that story, and then the new story of Pentecost. Jesus stayed with his 11 apostles for 40 days. He spoke with them about God's kingdom. One day he said, don't leave Jerusalem yet. Wait here. John baptized with you with you with water, but soon you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So baptized with the Holy Spirit is actually the story of Pentecost that we're going to get to that we celebrated yesterday. A few days later, one of the apostles asked him, Lord, are you now going to give Israel its own king again? Jesus said they did not know, need to know what God had planned or when the events would happen. But the Holy Spirit will come upon you and give you power, he told his faithful friends. Then you will tell everyone about me. People in Jerusalem, in all of Judea, in Samaria, and everywhere in the world. After Jesus had said this, a cloud appeared over their heads. Right then, before their eyes, Jesus was taken up into the cloud. The apostles could not see him. They kept looking up at the sky as the cloud rose higher and higher. Suddenly, two men dressed in white clothes were standing beside them. Who are they? They're angels, remember? They said to the apostles, Jesus has been taken up to heaven, and he will come back in the same way that you have seen him go. And as Catholics, we believe that Jesus is going to come back to earth the same way that he went up. So maybe I think on a cloud and we're still waiting for that day. So the next one's about Pentecost. So it's called the Holy Spirit. 10 days later, so 10 days after this was a holiday. Many of Jesus's followers were all together in one place. The apostles, the women who had come with Jesus from Galilee and others. There were 12 apostles again. They had chosen the faithful disciple, Matthias, to take the place of Judas, who had betrayed Jesus. So remember, Judas was no longer um, a disciple after he betrayed Jesus. So a man named Matthias took his place. All at once, a sound of a mighty wind came from heaven and filled the whole house. So there's the house. Think about a sound of mighty wind from heaven. Do you think the sound of the wind would sound like regular wind? Or do you think the sound of wind from heaven would sound like the loudest wind you've ever heard if it's from heaven? Whoosh! Whoosh! Think about the wind. Then they saw flames. So flames like fire. They looked like tongues moving every which way. A tongue of fire came to rest on each one of the followers, kind of like over their head, but didn't touch them. It didn't burn them. It was just like floating above them. At that moment, all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them a power. Do you want to know what the power is? the power to speak in different languages. So remember, Jesus had told them, he said, you will tell everyone about me, people all over the world, in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, everywhere. Now all over the world, people don't speak the same language. So if Jesus's disciples were supposed to go out into the world and tell everybody about him, they would have to be able to speak those people's languages. So the Holy Spirit came down upon them in like a tongue of fire and gave them the power to do that so they could do their job. 
A large crowd had come to Jerusalem for the holiday. When they heard all the noise, they came to see what was going on. The people had come from countries near and far. The people spoke different languages, but they heard Jesus' followers and could understand everything they said. What's happening, they asked. What does this mean? The apostles stood together. Peter spoke to the crowd. He said, listen to what I have to say about Jesus of Nazareth. God proved that he sent Jesus to you by having him work miracles and wonders. Jesus was taken up to sit at the right hand of God, and he was given the Holy Spirit. Jesus also gave the Spirit to us, and this is now what you are seeing and hearing. The people were amazed and afraid. What should we do? They asked Peter. Peter told them, Turn back to God. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you will be given the Holy Spirit. This promise is for you and your children, for everyone, no matter where they live. Many people in the crowd believed Peter's message. That day, about 3,000 men, women, and children were baptized. The end. So we're going to draw a picture of this next, you're gonna need just a white piece of paper, okay? Get your paper ready.